Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I'm continuing my series on how to sing like. Next up, legendary Michael Jackson. Before we get started, if you wouldn't mind please liking and subscribing to my channel, that'd be really cool. Uh, don't forget to ring that bell so I can keep new cool videos coming your way. And I have a singing course, and that course is called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. You can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com. Uh, I also have a free singing forums with about 20,000 people in there that you can sign up for free to kind of test the waters and see if singing is right for you or if you want to take your uh, singing to a really high level and in this case we're going to be discussing Michael Jackson. Now Michael has spanned a lot of decades, at least four, and um, he has sort of two different careers that I like to think of. I like to think of him as the early Michael Jackson way back in the Jackson 5 and then you know the, the king of pop era of you know his big pop star stuff. So I want to start in the early years and I want to talk about the progression of his singing and I also want to talk about you know singing pre-pubescent going through puberty and then on into uh, what we knew of him through you know the, the early 80s and, and even 90s but early 80s especially so or mid 80s. So with that said let's get started. Now I uh, I do this by demonstration, so when I say how to sing like, I'm not a talking head where I'm just going to say wah, 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 wah and give you some quick tip on kind of sort of how to sound like somebody. And I'm also not looking to sound exactly like anybody. We're doing something in the spirit of or in the, in the influence of. We really want to have our own sound, but we incorporate maybe these influences into our own sound. We put them in our big toolbox for singing, okay? So I want that to be very clear and very important because we're not looking to, to, to mimic anyone in that sense. Now, my first step is I use myself and my students to demonstrate this stuff so you can see how my uh, technique actually works within the context of all these different styles. It could be heavy, it could be light, it could be everything in between. Now, the next step is um, Sarah Loera and we chose ABC. Some of you have may have seen this on the internet and Sarah actually has a fairly low voice. I kid you not. Sarah is more, you know, in, in, the, in the realm of singing from uh, a vocal fock or um, you know, vocal type, voice type, she's a little bit more like Stevie Nicks. She has a much lower register and can sing pretty low. And I think of you the guys that wanna go through and look through some of the Sarah videos, you can see that. But Sarah through KTVA has worked her voice up really high in order to be able to accommodate this too, just like I have as a high baritone. So with that said, I'm gonna get started and here's Sarah. Okay, so if you don't, you know, you went to school to let go things you never, never knew before. You know, uh, 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 before we accept after see. And where two plus two makes four, no, 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 I'm not gonna teach you. Right? So what we've done is we've taken Sarah's head voice and we've really strengthened this a lot. Now, I cover this in my singing course, How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. I have a whole section on head voice, both for guys and for girls. And so what we did was, even though Sarah is predominantly a lower singer, a lower timbral singer, uh, we were able to get her range to go up into the stratosphere in the early Michael Jackson years. Now, Michael couldn't, you know, and I will make a pact. We must bring salvation back. You know, I'll be there, like stuff like that. That was way when, when he could sing really high. And as, as years grew on and he went through puberty, he kind of lost a whole octave on his range, which is what we're seeing the early part here, and wasn't able to hang on to that, though he was known as being more of a high range singer. So I'm gonna talk a little bit, if I can remember, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Bruno Mars because Bruno has really captured the spirit of Michael, kind of taken it to another level. He's kind of Michael Jackson with a little bit more range, a little bit more control, believe it or not. Um, those of you out there might hate me for saying that, but he really has. Bruno's taken Michael's sound, brought it into his own, uh, and, and, and kind of, you know, got some of the early Michael stuff and brought it into manhood, but maintained a lot of that really high tonal quality that early Michael had. So let's continue. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm going to love you just a, a little bit. Um, I think it was Jermaine Jackson that did that. Uh, anyway, so I'm, I'm pointing some things out here. So now what we do is uh, there's a process to this, of course. So these aren't, you know, definitive things. These are little sound bites of the stuff that you'll actually find that's in the course, which is the whole total sum on how to get here. But I'm going to give you some, you know, some hints on how, where we're going with this. What we do is we strengthen the head voice and she kind of has really little boy voice. I talk about that in the course, almost Mickey Mouse voice. Yeah. Hey! Right, we, we strengthen this really high, bright tone. So we start, hey, right? Almost like the Bee Gees, you know? How can you mend a broken heart? How can you stop the sun from shining? Right, we get this nice, bright timbral sound and we match the tonal qualities of our chest voice and we bring it up into our head voice and we have something called mixed voice. And what mixed voice is, is a percentage of our chest voice how much of that chest we want to bring our call register, how much we want to bring into that sound, into our hey, right? We can go in and out of the passaggio without hearing that register break. People think that you're pulling in your chest voice and that's your normal big, you know, chest resonance sound. No, it doesn't work that way. How it works is we build our chest voice first as a foundation. We've talked about this a lot. Then we build our head voice second as a secondary foundation to hold the top end notes. Then we come back and strengthen the passaggio to get this percentage of mixed voice and decide when we want to hand it off from chest to head and back again. And Sarah is an extraordinary example of this. So let's play a little bit more and then we'll continue. it gives a pretty good sample you know of early Michael Jackson he did a lot of incredible stuff in the Jackson 5 but um, you know so that's the the first era of Michael Jackson then we move on into you know his big uh, king, king of pop years so back, let me back this up sorry about that um, here we go ah out kind of what I'm doing here. So I, I've, I've, again, I've grown a really powerful, strong head by you. Love me. Na, 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 na. Right? Excuse me. I have a really strong, powerful head voice. Now I'm going to back this up just a little tiny bit here. And I want you to hear the, the, the coming into the chest voice and back in the head again. Check this out. Right? I slid down into my chest voice and then boom, I'm back up into my head voice and you can't hear any break or anything. Now, the timbral sound I'm using here is not the kind of sound I'd use if I was singing a rock tune. I'd pull more chest into this sound even though I might use some mix in my head voice because it sounds a little bit too much like reinforced falsetto but I wanted to match the total tonal qualities of Michael's voice to, to make this work and make it sound like Michael though it still sounds like Ken Tamplin. Okay, let's continue. Okay, another uh, facet of Michael. Got the glove. <laughs> she was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. So I don't mind. 
Okay, so let me stop that there. Now, of course, you guys know me. I have a real husky sound. She was more like a beauty queen, right? So what do I have to do? I've got to really sing into the mask. I've got to, she was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. Said, I don't mind it, Dan and Dee. What do you mean? Said, I am the one who would dance on the floor in the round. See, I'm singing in here instead of, said I am the one, right? I'm really bringing it up in the mask and I'm shedding all that weight. So I, again, can match the timbre of Michael's voice. Now, again, it sounds like me. I'm not saying I sound exactly like him, but I'm showing you how to sing like Michael and still be yourself at the same time. Let's continue. You mean I am the one who would dance on the floor in the round. She said, I am the one who would dance on the floor in the round. People always told me, be careful what you do. Don't go around breaking young girls' hearts. You know, I said, people always told me, be careful what you do. Right, I'm real small. I'm way up here in the sound. I'm gonna get rid of all the weight. I'm freaking it way up high, just like Michael does, right in front of my face, in order to be able to accommodate being able to sing that high with it now sounding like I'm pulling up a bunch of girth or muscle mass in the throat. Okay, let's continue. And mother always told me, be careful who you love. Be careful what you do, cause the lie becomes the truth. Hey, Billie Jean is not my lover. I've got some mix there. I'm not going, I am the one. I'm not really hooty and fluty on my head voice. I am the one who dance on the floor in the round. I go, in the round. I can add more chest in the sound, but I'm mixing it so I can stay kind of little gentle, a little soft in it, and really control how much, uh, again, how, so I don't want to sound strainy when I'm up that high. I want to sound like Michael. All right, here we go. Walk. I love this song. I like all of his stuff. He's a Woo! talented guy. Woo! My baby on a Saturday bang. So, took my baby on a Saturday bang. Right? I got it early. I'm gonna go right in here. Check it out. I'm gonna back this up a little bit for you guys to see. Watch this. Here we go. My baby on a Saturday bang. Is that going you just for one and the same? Now I believe in miracles, and a miracle is happening tonight. But if you're thinking about my baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. Now I don't have as small of a sound, so I can't, I could try to. So, so if you're thinking about my baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. I can get it really small, but I still don't quite sound like Michael. I just, I'm singing one of his tunes, so it gives you the illusion that there's something that's like Michael. I'm just singing in the technique that gets me into that sound in order to be able to sing that high without straining and pull it off and, and finish these songs end to end uh, w without, without epic fails, so to speak. So here we go. You really turn me on. 
hmm, I mainly gotta get high and I've gotta use a lot of diaphragmatic support to relax the chest and the neck and throat. Otherwise, I'm gonna start to build tension in the throat and I won't be able to pull this off. So if you really look closely at this video and I challenge you guys to do this, watch how I'm really focusing and I'm really trying hard not to let the larynx raise or lower on me. It's in a neutral position and I'm focusing really hard on keeping my sound right here the whole entire time. I'm not moving around a lot. I'm just really concentrating on this, this tubular small sound that I'm getting and I'm pitching in the front of my face. So. So hopefully uh, this was helpful to you guys. Again, I cover all of this stuff in my singing course. So for you that want, uh, you know, a lot of people, oh, can you know, it, does your course only cover rock? Or can, you know, I only see, you know, maybe a lot of girls in your course or this, uh, that's just not true. I have, <laughs> we have almost a thousand videos out now. Look at my YouTube channel uh, in every imaginable style. So I'm just showing you how great technique period works for any style and in this case it's Michael Jackson. I also challenge you guys um, when you get a chance please check out my version of When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars. I'll actually put that in the subject line uh, or excuse me description so you can see how I did with that and what I mean by um, uh, how Bruno has really kind of you know taken on the spirit of Michael and really you know juxtaposed the two together and check them out. So uh, with that said check out my next video.